bunch of Ant Man. She asks me, big spoon or little? After almost 30 years, she still asks me, big spoon or little? The answer, of course, depends on the purpose. Big for soup, little for tea. It's in the name. Big for a stew bowl too rude to pick up, or gravy, or sour curry, or kanji, or palak paneer. Where was I? A small spoon for dessert, to savor, to delight, but big for cake, especially cake with ice cream. You cannot use a fork for ice cream. Pie? Depends on the pie. A small flat spoon for the sacrament of absinthe, a metal spoon filled with jam sticking out of hot tea with one eye closed in the Russian way. A spoonful of sugar, a stone spoon, a tin spoon, a silver spoon, a coffee spoon. Why isn't there a coffee spoon? Circling around the cup, making small tinking noises, like a fragile singing bowl, sometimes meditating, sometimes vexed. A musical spoon, a dream spoon, a runcible spoon. In the Bible, a golden spoon filled with incense, a Christian spoon. An apostle spoon, a witch spoon, a carved spoon of oak, beech, or maple, tied with a red thread. Three, seven, nine elm spoons to break an evil eye. Big spoon or little, which, to tell the truth, sometimes I simply can't remember, which is why she asks. says, a camel does not drink with a spoon. I have no idea what that means. And the dish ran away with the spoon. Why? Why did they need to run? Were they in love? Did Spoon's family forbid their offspring to love someone as shallow as a dish? Isn't a spoon more suited for a deep relationship with a bowl? And what did Dish see in the spoon other than an upside-down reflection of its own face? With a silver spoon, a medieval merchant could prove he had means and a trade, like a set of keys, an ID card, an entry into upper class. As since silver turns black when touched by sulfur, or arsenic, it could keep you alive. Enslaved plantation workers had no silver spoon, only wooden ones fashioned by hand, if they had them at all. No forks, and particularly, no knives. American slave-owning mistresses would call their servants to attention with a mannered ting of a silver spoon against a china teacup. 
Ironically, Harriet Tubman taught her Underground Railroad passengers a spiritual, follow the drinking gourd, the Big Dipper, a giant spoon pointed north. In 1962, four prisoners dug through the stone walls of Alcatraz with spoons and escaped. Palestinian prisoners dig tunnels with spoons out of West Bank jails. Hidden by some, a small few, inside a shoe or sewn into a lining, kidnapped Jewish captives in concentration camps carried the secret of a spoon as evidence of their lives destroyed. Jewish prisoners, Romani prisoners, homosexuals, communists, socialists, Ukrainians, Poles, the mentally and physically handicapped, none were considered human enough to have cutlery to eat their insignificant rations. The secret spoons, it was thought, could be used to dig out of the camps. It seemed the greatest fear of those holding them was that these subhuman captives could somehow move enough earth with a small spoon to dig under barbed wire and trenches and guard towers and escape. And they were used by some, a small few. We know of six, six, one in a million. Could be a spoonful of sugar, could be a spoonful of tea, but one little spoon of your precious love is good enough for me. And that spoon, spoon, spoonful, that spoon, spoon, spoonful, that spoon, spoon, spoonful, good enough for me. Quantum physics states that two particles get smaller and smaller, the closer they get, the stronger their atomic pull, until they are inseparable. Things are measured in absolutes, a spoonful of this or that, or measured by our bodies. At the sight of a pleasing face or the trill of a laugh, we are taken by the sense of things, the helix of the ear, the hollow of the clavicle the dimples of Venus. A chelidon, a cubit, a span, a cup, the size of a heart. Sometimes, in the big, cold, dark, it's good to be the little warm spoon. And sometimes, a spoon is just a spoon. This project was made possible by our season sponsors, Orange County, United Arts, the State of Florida, ACS, and Orlando Health. Our wonderful board members, we thank our donors and members, as well as our business sponsors. Please thank them for their support for Timuqua.